After finishing Ultraman Gaia, uh, I decided to watch a movie that popped up on my list uh, called Zebra Man. I'm glad I did. It was fun. It started off, like, just from the poster, I thought, well, this could be a parody or a satire or something. And it kind of was at first, but then it became more of an actual, like, I don't want to really say serious, because it was more of a comedy, but it took itself seriously, I guess you could say, in how wacky some of the things were. Of course, I had watched it dubbed, which means that I watched it as the lesser version, and it probably would have been even better if it was just subbed, not dubbed. Um, but you follow a school teacher who basically has a terrible life, and he begins to fantasize about being a superhero, so he begins making a costume. Then there's a transfer student who comes into his class who's in a wheelchair, and he begins to take like special attention to try to help this kid. Um, and then there's all these attacks that keep happening where people are getting murdered, and it's like, why is this happening? So he dons his costume to go out and stop this, you know, the first murderer. And it was this bizarre scene where you have these two low-budget costumes, one guy dressed up as a zebra and the other person wearing a crab hat, and they fight. And then after that, he begins to develop superpowers because he believes in himself. And there are more people being controlled by these little green aliens that are like jello people. And they're taking over people, making them violent, trying to make them attack. And one of them gets his, the, the main character's son. And he has to free his son from the control of these things. And then after all of that, um, after all the fighting's all done... Um, you know, he's all beaten up. He does, you know, he's supposed to be able to fly, but he doesn't believe that he can do it. Turns out that one of the other, like, teachers or somebody at the school um, had these scripts from this original show, which there's a backdrop. There was a show in the 70s called Zebra Man that he based his costume off of, but it was almost like it was being written to predict the future. And it's a little de like it's a little confusing for it, but it was kind of funny that he thought that um, you know that was like the whole thing was already pre-scripted, so he was supposed to lose or something. And um, then um, when they find out where these little green aliens are coming from. He has to go stop him, and he comes in, and he's all beaten up and hurt because he's just injured. His costume's torn apart, and then he begins to believe in himself, and that he has to save, you know, um, the the kid in the wheelchair. And he pulls in his costume, transforms, and he begins to fight with super strength and he takes on the like basically all the little ones fused together to become one giant one and yeah it was a fun movie for being it started off like it was supposed to be a parody but then it began to take itself seriously and i highly enjoyed it for being a little goofy but there were scenes that hit really hard and you know i I wasn't expecting that from a movie that looked like it was going to be a complete joke, and some of the costumes look absolutely ridiculous. So um, I suggest if you got Tubi, check it out. It's fun. So have a good one.